Hey Perry here, Taylor Sound. Well, we got another shipment of some gear here. Um, this time it's the Touchmix 16 by QSC. So we're gonna unbox it here. Well, it's got a nice carrying case just like the touch mix 8 came with which is really nice to have especially if you're doing mobile stuff you know someday soon we might be doing that again mobile gigs or on location gigs comes with a, a manual here or a quick setup guide and two stickers. Let's see what's in here. So this is just uh, the basic stuff. It's, it's actually not a manual. It's got a little bit of a quick setup guide in here to kind of get it going. But these things are very, very deep in their uh, technology. So you'd, you'd basically, I don't know if the manuals in this case or whether you have to download it online. I guess we'll see here. So yeah, this case is, you know, canvas. Then inside here, you can see the touch mix goes on one side. And then you have the um, cables or the power wall wart type of deal. On one side, I do like the way these power um, the power uh, clips into the back of the mixer? It's got like a it's got one of these kind of things and it's it really is tight which is good because you don't want power being pulled out or something while you're trying to mix a gig or a rehearsal in our case here so yeah it's uh like i said it's a, a wall wart type of deal and uh, which, you know, isn't a big deal. You tuck it in the, to your mixer case or whatever and figure out a way to install that wall. So, you want to open this already? Alright, so then the mixer is here. This side here, down here. So there is no manual in here. So, which leads me to believe that you know, you can just go download it online, and I'm sure <clears throat> they do that to save paper, and 90% of people that are buying something this technological um, is, are going to probably download it to their phone or whatever so they can have it with them all the time. Um, there is this quick start hookup guide. It shows kind of how to, you know, put all the speakers in and uh, where to put the headphones and mixer and instruments and mics. Uh, then on the back here is, shows you how to do channel presets, which for this, this thing, uh, this is going to go in probably my band share C, which is my big uh, rehearsal space. And what I can do, and I'm going to go through this with bands once they start. I have one band that's rehearsing in there and they can get six feet apart, so it's a uh, social distance rehearsal. But as soon as um, other bands start coming back into the rehearsal space, I'm going to show each band how to set up their own preset. So when they come in, uh, at night uh, and they want to just dial in they can just go to the preset and it'll have their band's name on it punch enter and boom all their microphone presets and anything else that they have if they're putting keyboards or 
acoustic guitars um, through the PA or whatever they're using the, the mixer for, it'll be all reset for them in a matter of seconds, milliseconds actually. So you can see on here that there are four um, dual purpose inputs. So you can either put a TRS in the middle or an XLR and then it's got another 12 XLR inputs. It's got 16 preamps here. Then the master fader over here and then um, I think we're going to go over a little bit more detail as I teach these bands how to set up their presets um, about how, how uh, customized you can go with these. Um, and then in the back they also have more auxiliary outs. They have five, six auxiliary outs, main outs, and then a talkback mic even in here, which is another function of these uh, this mixer is you can actually use it as a recording interface, which is you know cool for you know people that want to have a dual purpose um, recording device and a PA mixer. Um, so anyway, the Touch Mix 16, we'll get deeper into this as we go along. Rock on.